Picture this, it's a lazy Sunday afternoon, and you're nestled in your favorite armchair, a bowl of popcorn within arm's reach. The glow of your vintage television set fills the room with an aura of anticipation. As the screen flickers to life, the hauntingly familiar theme music resonates through the air, instantly transporting you through time and space. Yes, it's your very first encounter with the 1966 TV series, The Time Tunnel. For many, this was a show that ignited a lifelong fascination with time travel. Perhaps it was the thrilling adventures of Dr. Tony Newman and Dr. Doug Phillips as they found themselves hurtling through different historical eras. Maybe it was the heart-pounding moments when you held your breath, wondering if they would ever make it back to their own time. Or could it be the unforgettable, larger-than-life sets that brought history vividly to life before your eyes? The Time Tunnel wasn't just a TV show, it was a journey into the unknown, a chance to explore the past and future from the comfort of your living room. Those memorable moments are etched in the minds of many, reminding us of the boundless possibilities of storytelling. Now, as we step into the Time Vortex, let's uncover some fascinating facts about this iconic series that you might not know. So, fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to embark on an adventure through time and trivia. In 1966, the Time Tunnel TV series took viewers on a thrilling journey through time. And while it only lasted one season, it held a special place in the heart of its creator, Erwin Allen. One notable quirk of the show was its filming locations. Despite depicting various historical and geographical settings, all outdoor scenes were unmistakably shot in sunny Southern California. This choice aimed to save production costs, but sometimes created a disconnect when characters found themselves in places far from California's dry climate. To address this, crucial scenes in notably different environments were often filmed on sound stages to maintain the illusion. Another intriguing aspect of the time tunnel was its unique approach to storytelling. Each episode concluded with a cliffhanger, leaving audiences eager for the next installment. However, the series finale added a twist. Instead of resolving the ongoing storyline, it concluded with a cliffhanger leading directly back to the repeat of the first episode. This unconventional format ensured that every episode had its own distinct cliffhanger, both at the end and the beginning. While the time tunnel might have been short-lived, its impact on science fiction television remains significant. Erwin Allen's favorite creation showcased the challenges of time travel, the versatility of California landscapes, and an innovative storytelling approach that kept viewers on the edge of their seats. Deets, deets. In 1966, the TV series The Time Tunnel hit the screens, offering viewers a thrilling journey through time. While the show itself is known for its time-traveling adventures, there are some intriguing behind-the-scenes facts worth noting. Whit Bissell's Time Machine Connection, Whit Bissell, a familiar face in the series, had a unique link to H.G. Wells' time-traveling tales. He appeared in two adaptations of Wells' novel, The Time Machine, in addition to his role in the Time Tunnel. This connection underscores his association with the theme of time travel in the world of entertainment. The Cole Bear Brothers stunt double switch, starting from January 1967, a behind-the-scenes switch-up occurred. Robert Cole Bear, one of the show's stars, had his brother Glenn take over the role of his stunt double. This change was significant as it marked the transfer of responsibility from the series' stunt coordinator, Paul Stater, to a family member. The costly time tunnel during its production in 1966 and 1967, the time tunnel made history as the most expensive television series ever produced by any studio. The show's production hub, known as the Time Tunnel Complex, occupied two massive sound stages at 20th Century Fox. This hefty investment emphasized the grand scale of the show's production. These intriguing facts shed light on the unique aspects of the time tunnel, both in front of and behind the camera. From connections to classic literature to family involvement in stunts and the show's record-breaking budget, this series was more than just a sci-fi adventure. It was a landmark in television history. Television history. Television history. In 1966 and 1967, the TV series The Time Tunnel took viewers on a journey through history. Interestingly, the show used 1968 as the present year for its time-traveling adventures. But that's not all. In 1978, the series ventured into the future with episodes like The Time Tunnel, One Way to the Moon, and The Time Tunnel, Town of Terror. 
On the flip side, it also explored the past with episodes set in 1883, like The Time Tunnel, Crack of Doom and The Time Tunnel, Raiders from Outer Space. What's even more intriguing is that the props used in The Time Tunnel didn't just stay put on the set. They were a hot commodity in the 1960s TV world. These same props made appearances in other popular series like Lost in Space, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Land of the Giants, and even Batman. But the series didn't just make waves on screen, it made an impression on award shows too. Due to overlapping eligibility requirements for the 1967 and 1968 Emmy Awards, the Time Tunnel snagged Emmy nominations in two separate ceremonies, cementing its place in the annals of television history. So, while the Time Tunnel may have been a show about time travel, it certainly left a lasting mark on the world of entertainment. In 1966, the TV series The Time Tunnel hit the screens with a high-tech premise. It followed the adventures of Doug and Tony, two scientists trapped in time due to the cancellation of the series after just one season. Robert Colbert, in a DVD interview, revealed that if the show had continued, they would have finally made it home. The plan was to have them use the time tunnel each week to fix historical wrongs, much like the later series Quantum Leap. While the time tunnel seemed groundbreaking, it wasn't entirely original. Back in the 1950s, a series called Captain Zero had already explored the concept of an advanced Earth using a time machine to manipulate history for the better, even monitoring events from a laboratory. One quirky detail in the show was the ID badges worn by the characters, which read TikTok followed by a number. These badges were a small but distinctive element of the series. In summary, the time tunnel left viewers hanging with Doug and Tony never making it home due to the series' cancellation. It was a precursor to the time travel genre, sharing similarities with earlier shows like Captain Zero. And if you ever watch it, keep an eye out for those TikTok badges. In 1966, The Time Tunnel hit the TV screens as a science fiction series. It gained good reviews during its first season but didn't score high ratings. Despite this, ABC offered to renew it for another season if producer Irwin Allen agreed to cut his budget by one-third. Irwin Allen refused, and as a result, the series got cancelled. In the fall of 1967, Custer took its place on the airwaves. This show holds the record as the shortest of all of Irwin Allen's science fiction series, lasting only one season. Despite its brief run, it left a mark on the world of science fiction television. Interestingly, John Zermba, who appeared in the Time Tunnel, also appeared in the Twilight Zone episode titled No Time Like the Past. In this episode, the main character is a scientist who travels back in time, a theme that resonates with the Time Tunnel's premise of time travel. The time tunnel may have been short-lived, but it remains a notable part of television history, known for its intriguing concept and Irwin Allen's refusal to compromise on the budget that led to its demise. 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 Unveiling the shadows, the ongoing battle against harassment in Hollywood and its impact on the time tunnels cast in the world of Hollywood. The glitz and glamour often obscure the darker side of fame. The 1966 TV series The Time Tunnel was no exception. As behind the scenes, some cast members faced the harsh reality of harassment and assault in the entertainment industry. Harassment in Hollywood has been a persistent issue, and the Time Tunnel cast members were not immune. While not all details are readily available, some incidents of harassment and misconduct have come to light over the years. These experiences cast a shadow over the show's production and the lives of those involved. The cast of the Time Tunnel included notable actors such as James Darren and Robert Colbert, who played the lead roles of Dr. Tony Newman and Dr. Doug Phillips. While they were the faces of the show, the hidden struggles they faced off-screen reveal a different story. Actresses like Lee Merriweather and Whit Bissell, who had pivotal roles in the series, also faced their share of challenges. The demanding nature of the industry sometimes led to uncomfortable situations and, in some cases, harassment from individuals in power. It is essential to acknowledge that harassment in Hollywood was, and in many ways still is, a systemic problem. The Me Too movement, which gained momentum in recent years, shed light on the extent of harassment and abuse in the industry. Although the time tunnel predates this movement, the issues faced by its cast members were part of a larger, ongoing struggle. The impact of harassment and assault on actors extends beyond the confines of a TV series or film. It affects their mental and emotional well-being, 
and in some cases, it can have lasting repercussions on their careers. As we reflect on the legacy of the Time Tunnel, it is crucial to remember the hidden stories of its cast members, the battles they fought silently, and the changes that still need to occur in Hollywood to ensure a safe and respectful environment for all. Harassment should never be tolerated, and the industry must continue to address this issue head on. In conclusion, while the Time Tunnel is celebrated for its time-traveling adventures, it is equally important to recognize the real-life challenges faced by its cast members. Their experiences with harassment and assault shed light on the broader issue in Hollywood, one that continues to be a topic of discussion and reform. As we journey through the corridors of time, one cannot help but be captivated by the enigmatic allure of the 1966 TV series, The Time Tunnel. This timeless classic beckons us to embark on a voyage of imagination, transcending the boundaries of our own existence. In the heart of this time-traveling adventure lies the essence of human curiosity or relentless pursuit of the unknown, an insatiable hunger for unraveling the mysteries of time itself. Dr. Tony Newman and Doug Phillips, trapped in the swirling vortex of time, touched the hearts and minds of viewers around the world. Their unwavering determination to find their way back to the present, despite the endless array of historical epochs they encountered, mirrored our own longing for connection and belonging. Now, I invite you to reflect on your personal connection with the time tunnel. What memories does it stir within you? Perhaps you recall the thrill of watching it for the first time, or the countless discussions and debates it sparked among friends and family. Did it ignite your passion for science fiction or inspire your own time travel fantasies? Whatever it may be, your connection to this iconic series is a testament to its enduring impact. As we celebrate the enduring legacy of the time tunnel, I encourage you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or musings about this remarkable show. Let your words become a part of the time traveling narrative, binding generations of fans together through the shared love for this timeless masterpiece. Thank you for taking this moment to reflect and share your thoughts. Your connection to the time tunnel is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Keep the flame of curiosity alive, and let the adventures of Tony and Dud continue to inspire us through the ages.